what you're fighting for. That's right. Take a look. Let us absorb. Because their father is an innocent man that's sitting in jail right now. That's right. And if he is convicted, these children have to be without a father. And I want y'all to quote me on this one. I die before I see that. Yes, sir. I got blood to shed. That's why I'm who I am. I'm not scared, and I'm not about to start being scared. But what I do want to say is, look at them, man. Comrade, get that fly. Give them their time, because they the ones, they the ones that need their father out there. That right. officer, that officer's with his kids right now. That's right, that's right. That's right, Coletti's with his kids, that's right. He's, that officer's with his kids that's right now. Coletti, Mr. Mr. Post stuff up on the internet to show that he's been accused of stuff before and, and got beat it. it. Yeah. Got away with it. Yeah. While these kids sitting out here without a father. That's right. Exactly. That's right, Aaron's with his that kids, right. that's right. I gotta go back across the street to mine and look at them and know that these kids gotta go downtown to Monroe County to see their father, man, behind the glass. Right, right. Power to the people! 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 I'm Adrian Elam and um, I'm one of the co-founding members of uh, Black. We stand for building leadership and community knowledge. We are a young activism group full of young people, students, young professionals, community members, and we've taken up the challenge of trying to change our world. I, I love and respect my elders, everything that they've done thus far, but to be honest, the young people, which is why I wanted us sitting right here so they can see what this is, and they can understand and hear this, whether they're paying attention now, this will resonate with them at a later time. We are the ones who must lead these movements. Any great change that has happened has come from the young people. When we were walking down the streets, people didn't necessarily join with us, but they recognized that connection, they understood what we were doing. They felt that energy. Many of them will not join with us because their time has passed for them. They fought their battles, They've laid the foundation and it's our, offer, it's our obligation. Yes, sir. It is our duty That's right. to our brothers and sisters, the ones who came before us and the ones who come behind us yes, sir. to build on that foundation, to build up so that we can make the change and we can create the world that we want them to live in. We must be the change that we want to see. We can't, no more Facebook posts, must Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff, I'm a junkie at it, but we have to bring this into reality. We have to start to understand how this system works with economics, with where we are physically, how we talk to one another, how we treat one another, what things we are going to address, what we're going to stand up for. And why I brought Natasha, love Natasha. One thing we're not about this movement is we're about equal opportunity. Whether that means you're black, you're Asian, whatever, or men and women. We must see each other and treat each other as equal. So I would let So um, yesterday I was talking with a couple friends about um, just kind of what it means to be an oppressed person and how you deal with those situations and how it affects your interactions. And it's very meaningful to make people aware and to educate people in your conversations and to check people for the things that they say that continue these forms of oppression. But things like today, no matter how many people show up, um, is about taking actual action to take the oppression off of yourself. Um, by coming together here, we, we've made the fuss that isn't made about black lives, that isn't made about police brutality and all of these like certain areas that where people don't care. Money talks, and it has talked for a long time. Money is what talks certain people of certain classes out of those situations that prevent people from ever having to have that negative interactions with the police, from ever being able to go to jail. But people talk too, and today we made a fuss, and that's what needs to be made every single time this happens. The people on the street, even if they didn't join us, they took videos with their phones. They're going to show their friends, they're going to go on Facebook. Even if it just goes viral in Rochester, we've made a fuss, and we need to continue to make a fuss every single time this happens. Black lives matter! 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 Black lives matter
Yeah. 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 Yeah.